origami is an art of paper folding we can learn mathematics through origami euler was one of the most eminent mathematicians of the 18th century and he is felt to be one of the greatest in history he had an excellent memory euler's eyesight worsened throughout his mathematical career he became more productive after that euler remarked on his loss of vision now i will have fewer distractions but his papers submitted went on increasing his papers have 25000 pages after his death 228 papers were published it took few decades to publish after his death euler was featured on the 6th series of the swiss 10 franc banknote and on numerous swiss german and russian postage stamps in this video let's discuss about euler's formula through origami octahedron take a square piece of paper and make a rectangular fold open and make one more rectangular fold we have four squares formed on it on the reverse side make a diagonal fold make one more diagonal fold our triangular basic fold is ready it automatically gets folded into the shape we need six such units take one more square paper first make the diagonal folds one more fold and on the back side make the rectangular folds the unit is ready the paper gets automatically folded into a square basic fold and we need six such units take a square basic fold and insert one triangular basic fold into it the edges of the square basic fold are coming out fold these edges into the triangular basic fold i have seen the demonstration of this octahedron during a workshop of sri professor ravi keskar in the year 1995 the fourth edge is being folded and the unit is ready we need six such units take two units and assemble them take the help of these triangular portions to assemble these two units together take a third unit and proceed in the same way we are observing that for each unit we are leaving one flap on either side now we are seeing that four units are assembled together and we have four flaps on either side take the fifth unit and proceed to assemble
this polyhedra has got many uses. It can be used for decorations as hangers. Huge models of these were made and we have used for decorations. Now we are left with the last four flaps to be assembled to the sixth unit. This octahedron has got many geometrical shapes. So our polyhedra has got several uses. It can be also used as a tool for breathing exercise. The last joint is a bit difficult but have patience. Our polyhedra tetrahedron is ready. Hold it gently and blow air. Now let's see the geometrical shapes involved. This is an equilateral triangle. At the center we have a square shape. Have a small tilt. Observe the green part. It is a pentagon. At the center you can see four square gaps. Have a tilt till you get a hexagonal gap. You can see two rectangular gaps at the center. Now coming to the Euler's formula, let's count the number of vertices. We have five on this side and one on the other side, totaling to six vertices. Now let's count the number of edges, four on this side. We have four edges at the center and four edges on the other side. So we have totally 12 edges. Now coming to the faces, this is a equilateral triangle. Faces on this side and four faces on the other side totaling to eight faces. So the number of faces F is equal to eight. Coming to Euler's formula, vertices plus faces is equal to edges plus two. We have substituted the values we have found and we are able to prove Euler's formula with our tetrahedron. Let's see the breathing exercise once again. Happy folding viewers.